I'm going to start you out with the red flag warning, the fire weather conditions. That red flag warning for fire weather danger goes from the Canadian border down to the central Oregon Cascades. As David mentioned, starts at 2 a.m. tonight and extends until Sunday morning. And what this does not mean is that we're expecting new fire starts for any particular reason. What it means is any existing fires or fires that do start, which would be man-made, of course, uh, have the potential to exhibit extreme and critical fire weather behavior because it's going to get windy and it's really low humidity and it's really, really warm. So that's why we've got the fire weather warning out for the run of the Cascades. Notice it's from the crest westward because that's where the winds will be strongest. We also have air quality warnings everywhere in gray, also from the Canadian border down to Southern Oregon, basically. So yes, we have pretty bad air quality. Here's the smoke model and it's not super thick, but it's fairly pervasive. It's covering the entire area here, and we've had several sources for this wildfire smoke fires in Washington, fires in Southern Oregon, the fire in Clark County. It's all just adding up and we're dealing with a very stagnant weather pattern, so we're just not changing out the air mass, getting any fresh air. And now look at the wind arrows. Those are strong east winds that develop during the day tomorrow. That's why we've got the fire weather warnings. It's not really going to help our smoke situation either unless we got a really good blast that kind of cleared us out, but there's a lot of smoky air upwind, so I doubt we really see an improvement in the air quality until we get into next week. Notice the marine layer at the coast by Sunday, though, indication that things will change around a bit. So here are the current air quality issues. See where it's yellow throughout much of the metro area, meaning moderate air quality, but a couple of the sites are saying unhealthy for sensitive groups, so it is not the best air, as I'm sure you are aware, but other places out to the east, not doing too badly. So potentially with a good east wind, we could see some improvement in that air quality tomorrow. We'll keep our fingers crossed on that. Really bad, of course, down by the Cedar Creek fire and close to any fire around the northwest. But it's hazy out there. You can see it. 80 degrees. And you know what we did today? We topped out at 82. It's our third day in a row with a record high temperature. How about five in a row? Because we're very likely going to set a new record high tomorrow and on Sunday. Around the state, Salem 83, Eugene 82, Medford near 90, the Dallas 82, 70s and 80s across the west of eastern Oregon. That's all smoke. That's the Cedar Creek fire right there. Still burning and still producing a lot of smoke. It kind of picked up because of the dry, warm weather that we have. So, as I said, we just don't have any big change in our air mass coming our way for several days. As we go into Monday and Tuesday, we'll get enough of an onshore flow that that should help improve our air quality at that point. But that weather system, that's really the one that's closest to us, and it's not close at all. It's really far away. That one moves into Southern California and stays on down to the south, and we stay with high pressure probably until next weekend. It is 80 degrees in Portland right now, freezing level 14,800 feet. So other than the hazy conditions that will remain clear, it'll be warm and the east winds really pick up tomorrow. Gusts of 30 miles an hour in East County, gusts in the gorge up to 40 miles an hour, and there's a high of 86, might even see 87, 88 in Salem tomorrow. So super warm for this time of the year, even warmer than it's been. 82 on Sunday, then there's the cooler weather on Monday and Tuesday. Should see the air quality improve, but back up around 80 again on Wednesday and Thursday.